the annual St Lucy service in St Magnus Cathedral in early December has been a much looked forward to event. Until calendar forms, St Lucy's feast day coincided with the winter solstice, the shortest day of the year. It's a festival of light. In keeping with the tradition followed by our Scandinavian neighbours and to the singing of Santa Lucia in Norwegian, a local schoolgirl enters the darkened cathedral with her attendants. She's dressed in white and wears a crown of candles on her head. But as you can imagine, health and safety don't permit the real thing, but the effect is much the same. A poem about a thousand Christmas lights is read. And after the service, the Christmas tree presented to the people of Orkney by the people of Hordaland in Norway is lit. At a latitude where there is very little December light, the symbolism of light coming into a darkened world is powerful. And a young person speaking about light brings a potent message of hope. And just as the Earth's orbit brings December darkness to northern climes, so many people feel and fear that each day news bulletins bring gloom and darkness. We still hear the daily COVID statistics, conscious that behind the figures is the real experience of those who have known death, serious illness, isolation, employment, insecurity, increased poverty, lost educational time, many of the mental health issues which flow from all that. We hear reports of conflict from around the world, where violence and hatred tear apart communities and take their toll in broken lives. And as we've been regularly reminded in recent weeks, we face a looming global climate change challenge. The United Nations report in August warned of increasingly extreme heat waves, droughts and flooding caused by human activity. Decisions in Glasgow will not have made these warnings disappear. Indeed, people in many places are already experiencing the consequences and impact of extreme weather conditions. The temptation, sometimes, rather than to get up in the morning, might be to pull the duvet even more tightly over your head. But as followers of Jesus, we know that there is a light, a light which shines in the darkness, and a light that the darkness does not overcome. From the story of creation, when God said, let there be light, and onwards through the Bible, regularly we are drawn towards the light. Just before Matthew describes the call of our patron Saint Andrew, he records the words of the prophet Isaiah. The people who lived in darkness have seen a great light. Possibly was it because Andrew saw in Jesus the promised great light that without any further ado, he left his nets and immediately followed Jesus. Isaiah also says that the light will break forth like the dawn after the bonds of injustice have been loosened after the oppressed have been set free, bread has been shared with the hungry, and the homeless have been given shelter. And Jesus himself says, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. At this time of Advent, as we wait, as we look forward, and as we prepare once again to celebrate the birth of our Saviour Jesus, let us focus on on the light. Light. Light which has been there from the beginning. Light which can expose dodgy dealings in dark places. Light which heralds a new dawn of justice. Light which brings a hope to a darkened world. The light of the world, whose assurance we have that whatever the circumstances, we do not walk alone in the darkness. When Jesus entered our world, he didn't come to give us an excuse to light up city centres or town centres in the weeks leading up to Christmas. Although we may want to reflect that even in our very secular world, lights still accompany our preparations for the big day. He entered our world to transform our lives. And Jesus told us not to hide our lights under a bushel. This Advent, in a troubled world where many are perplexed, are waiting in darkness and seeking answers, let our light shine before others, that they too may come to know the light which the darkness has never extinguished.